Hello guys and welcome to the Dounded Rocket YouTube channel. I apologise that there wasn't a video last Friday. It was my birthday and there was a lot of other stuff going on in the news which you probably are familiar with. So I wasn't quite in the right headspace to make a video. I am now and I have something incredible here. Meepo have sent me a Meepo Mini 5 extended range review unit with some donut wheels. We're going to be going over all of that in this video. As I said in my own board video, my priority is to make sure you spend your money wisely. It's not to try and help a company make sales. So even though, full disclosure, this is a review unit, my opinions will always be unfiltered and honest, even if it is to the detriment of me getting more review units off people. So rest easy. I promise you, I will be honest in this review. First off, just look at the design. This board has a very, very short wheelbase. It's a mini board, as we know. The deck is made up of eight ply Canadian maple, and it has a layer of fiberglass. This combination makes it perfect for just carving and cruising around. It's, it's a very powerful board, and we'll get into that more later, but it, the priority really here is convenience and ease of use. The board has two 500 watt hub motors in the rear wheels. These should supposedly give us a top speed of around 28 miles an hour. This thing is very punchy, so there's no doubt in my mind that it could hit those speeds. I'm not quite brave enough at present, given that it is my first mini board. I've only been that speed on my bamboo a few times, so I really don't want to push it, but I have no doubt in my mind at all that it is capable of that, and other reviews I've seen do corroborate this. Now let's discuss the extended range battery because you can get a 288 watt hour battery in this board for really not a lot of money at all, which is very impressive. In perfect conditions with a very light rider, you're gonna get about 20 miles according to Meepo. I probably weigh about 90 kilos. With all my gear, we're looking at 95 with my work equipment potentially close to 100. I'm getting about 15 miles on this extended range battery which is amazing that's with my street wheels. Oi! Oi! Where are you going? Where are you going? If I were to do it with the donuts we would get different results. I will do that but it will be in a later video so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. In my testing on the 90 millimeter street wheels, I was riding medium to high speeds on flat surfaces with very few stops. One of my favorite things about the Meepo Mini 5 is just how responsive it is. The acceleration is very smooth and quite rapid, obviously in mode four. One thing I absolutely love are the brakes. They're so good. Let me show you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they come to a stop so quickly. Um, they aren't like any brakes I've had before. They, they hill hold, for example. So on all the other ones I've had, which have been hobby wing, they don't hill hold. I think the fact that it's a Lifeock ESC means it can hill hold. That is brilliant. I really, really like that. The upgraded shredder trucks, my first time experiencing those. I really like them. How do they compare to Paris? It's maybe more of an opinion thing. I've been riding with Paris trucks for the longest time, so I can't really cast judgment. In my personal opinion, I do like the Paris trucks a little bit more, but the Shredder trucks are, are very good. There is nothing wrong with them. That's just my personal opinion. So, what am I thinking so far? Well, the board handles real nice. I've never felt the convenience of a short board before, and I love it. It can also handle almost all of the terrain that I travel on my normal route. This right here 
it's not the nicest surface and it's quite wet there's mud everywhere there's twigs and stones and stuff and honestly it handles it perfectly fine perfectly well there's a lot of grip which is wonderful over the bumps it holds together well one of the things I have noticed though is it does struggle quite a bit with hills I thought given that the motors are more powerful than my Wago 3 that it would be better at hills however it really does seem to struggle there's no hills that I can't make it up so don't worry about that I have some real steep hills by my house I can make it up all of them it's just it does get a little bit slower on the way up the remote control is super intuitive it has a clear display shows you all your speed modes it shows you the board battery it shows you the remote battery it also lets you adjust things like braking power i am a big fan of the software on the remote however to be honest i would like it if the whole construction was a little more premium i know that we've really had to cut corners to meet the price because the price is i think uncontested so this is one of the things that they've they've saved money on i think but you know the plastic feels a little cheaper the scroll wheel feels a little cheaper this is a wowgo alternative remote here and it's just it all just feels a little bit more premium hard to put into words absolutely nothing wrong with the remote at all and i can see why they have made it the way they've made it because it allows them to price the board as low as possible so that's not a knock it's just something to make you aware of if you do not buy the extended range version you do get a slightly more basic remote this board is absolutely great for commuting i've used it for that several times but it isn't just about commuting it's actually about maneuverability so it's very light it's easy to carry around and thanks to the kicktail you can actually turn corners that you maybe would never have been able to do before you will find yourself in situations where previously you may have had to dismount and kick the board around in this one you can just kick tail pivot it it's great now what we're going to do is we're actually going to fit the meepo donut wheels to this board so you can get these on the meepo website i think they're about 100 british pounds if i remember correctly they might be slightly less they are Unlike traditional skateboard wheels in the fact they are designed to provide extra cushioning and grip, they make the ride smoother, more comfortable. They're slightly larger and softer than the standard wheels. These are 110. This makes a honestly huge difference when you're out on the road. So the size of the donut wheel, it helps in absorbing shocks and vibrations, whether you're cruising over a rough pavement, small cracks, even gravel. These wheels handle it like a champ. The larger diameter also means and can roll over obstacles more easily. This reduces the chances of getting stuck or thrown off balance. Going forward, I'm actually gonna be using the donut wheels all the time. This is purely because of my priorities, so the street wheels are perfectly adequate, but it means that you get quite a few vibrations, as I think I mentioned earlier. The donuts really help to minimize that. With the deck that isn't flexible and the hub motors, you need all the help you can get to try and make the, we the wheels absorb stuff better and improve the ride quality so that's why i'm going to be sticking with the donuts going forward and it it does make a massive difference so i can highly recommend purchasing some if you're planning to get this board Those wheels, those donuts, the difference on tarmac is massive. So pebbles, stones, twigs, no longer a problem. I am noticing the grip is not quite as intense as it is with the street wheels, but it's a good trade-off in my opinion. Those are a good pickup. One thing I wasn't quite expecting is they make the board a little bit quieter, only a small amount quieter, but just the fact they're bigger and softer, there's less rattling, less vibrations. It's more comfortable and a bit more stealthy.
So what is my total verdict on this board? Well, as a guy who's never owned a short board before, my eyes have been opened. I understand why people like them. I am not a city boy. I live in the country, as you can probably tell, away from people. That's where I like to be. There aren't really any busy crowded areas. There aren't smooth pavements. It's mainly just rough cycle paths, rough single track roads, and a lot of off-road terrain. So I'm not the ideal customer for this, but I can see the appeal. The board itself handles everything I've thrown at it with precision and power. I would like to say that I, I wish it had a bit more torque for hills. I can still get up every hill that I need to get up. It just doesn't, the, the same punch it has on a flat surface doesn't quite carry over to hill climb, but it still gets up them. So that's the main thing that matters. The mobility of the board is something I haven't experienced before and I'm a big fan of it. I will never, ever know when I'm out on my standard skateboards, be completely satisfied because I'm always gonna know if I had a mini board, this corner would be easier. I wouldn't have to get off here and carry all that kind of stuff. It is also really nice that it's just so small and light and you can just throw it about. I've not had that before. I think it's an amazing buy. I think if you're someone who's commuting and you want just something small and convenient, it really does fit that role perfectly. If you are interested in this board, there is a affiliate link down below. You can use that to purchase it. It does help the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. So I beg, please use that if you don't mind. We have some big things coming for the channel as well. I want to let you know about them. We have at least three more videos in the pipeline. I have some great discount codes for you. You can already use one if you're ever purchasing any Yok Grip. There's a discount code down there. If you want to buy anything from Ownboard, I have a discount code down there. I've got lots of affiliate links, so you can click those if you'd like to make a purchase and support the channel, as I said, without having to pay anything extra yourself. It would mean the world to me. The Meepo, I have another video coming because there's another type of wheel that I think is quite interesting that maybe you wouldn't consider given the fact that Meepo sells their own donut wheels for the board. We'll get to that. When we get to that, please subscribe to make sure you see it. And overall, very impressed with the Meepo Mini 5. Lots of love, guys. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Cheers.